cultivate the atmosphere of staying in the presence of God. Let it become a happy to you. Say neighbor, say value, say value the presence of God. The secret of our relevance in this kingdom. If you want to reign like Esther, continue to please the king. If you want to shine, if you want to be blessed, please continue to please the king. Do you want to carry the presence of God? Then engage in prayers and worship. What are the benefits that comes upon a man if you carry the presence of God? And God said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Without the presence of God going with you, there can be no rest. That means success is found with any man that carries the presence of God. How can a slave be successful? How can a servant be successful because of the presence of God? You need the presence of God because the presence of God is your spiritual protection. Your presence of God is your spiritual immunity. It is dangerous to be successful without protection. It is dangerous to be great without protection. Stay in the presence of God. Cultivate the atmosphere of staying in the presence of God. Let it become a happy to you. Why can't you settle in the presence of God and see what God do to you at the end of it? The presence of God. I hope you know that the Bible says the blessings of the Lord make it what? Rich and do what? Add no sorrow. It said the blessings of the Lord. Not the blessings from the Lord. It's a two things. Of means is inside here. And from means is for me. Many of you have come to take from the Lord and run away. And then have casualties. You come and take and run. You can run with the blessings of God. You can still have casualties. When you read the scripture, you say, Ah, if, if, if truly this man, this blessing is God's own, why will he have, have this tragedy? Oh, yes. Even though the blessing comes from God, if you take it and run away, you will still have casualties. Because you are supposed to have the blessings of the Lord. That is constantly... Do you think Moses is not wise? Moses said, don't send me unless your presence will do what? Don't send me in my career. But please, if you want to send me, make sure that your presence continue to go with me. Many of you say, give me the breakthrough, not your presence. They that put value on God's presence, he will also value them. The reason why you pray and it look as if God is very far is because everything you are saying, you are not close to his presence. There are many pastors today, they carry the mic. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is alive. And But you can see that truly this man has not been in the presence of God for the past two months. He has been busy in a business place. He has been busy in the shop. He has been busy in the supermarket somewhere. And he's coming here and telling us about the, how God looked like. And God said, I'm shocked too. I'm surprised what this man is doing now because it's not all about the cramming or the eloquency of your speech. The presence of God. Tell your neighbor, say the presence of God. Say neighbor, say value. Say value. The presence of God. And some of you are spiritually dry. There is no sign of the presence of God in your life. Uh, nothing is even working at all. Am I talking about God? Yeah. If God is alive, let him help himself. And God said, not like that. You are too focused on your own agenda. I can tell you today, there are many people who are in the church. Actually, what they are here for is that I want to use God to get married. 
I want to use God to do business. Not God, though. I want to use him. I have no business with God, but I want to use him. How many of you are here to use God today? God is not an extra luggage you can carry. And carry along with yourself. We don't use God here. There is a woman in the Bible in the book of Esther. They call her Vashti. This woman was a queen because she married a what? A king. I hope you know that there is no queen without a king. Yes or no? At a point, the woman forgot that the reason why she is relevant, the reason why she is useful, the reason why she is where she is, is because she married a king. If you take your eyes off the king, you cannot be called a queen anymore. You cannot. I've never seen a queen who has no king. A time comes, the king calls for her and says, Vashti, I want to see you. The Vashti said, don't disturb me. Me too, I have my own empire now. I have women association. Wow. The advisor tell the king, and say, king, if you allow this thing to continue, all our wives will start disrespecting us. Before you know it, Vashti was removed and banned from being a queen. Her throne, her relevance, her usefulness was removed in one day. And Esther, a girl called, a village girl called Adassa, Esther by name, came and she was given the same position. A time came, Esther forgot too, and Mordecai reminded her. He said, look at me, Esther. I hope you know that that position you are sitting down now, they have to remove somebody for you to stay. Anytime you take your eyes off the king, your relevance go down immediately. Esther said, I remember. I remember that this was not my position. It is because I was loving the king. My position was increasing. I was loving the king. He began to, I hope you know that how Esther was able to defeat a man was because he pleased the king. Some of you have shifted your agenda away from God. You have shifted your attention. You have shifted your focus. You are so discouraged that God looked like other things to you. You now equate God with your president. You now equate God with your commissioner. You now equate God. Say, God, either you or either you do it or you will use my uncle to do it. God is not one of those things. God is the major thing. Are you here to use him? Or are you here to adore him? Are you here to use him? To make wealth? Are you here to use him? To get your way? Are you here to use him? To get your heart desires? Are you here to use him? That is why when you see people who are here to use him, they become miracle seekers, not God seekers. They seek miracle and they never look for God. Kings don't play with their own agenda. Jesus does not play with his agenda. If you take your eyes off the Savior, just like Vashti, who was banished, many can be banished. In short, some of you are already being punished like Vashti because you have shifted your eyes off from the king the one who sits on the throne you have shifted your attention from him and then i hope you know anytime the king's attention is shifted away from you somebody takes your position immediately stay in the presence of god i bring this message today to let you know that you must return to the presence of god you must return to a place of fellowship. When the Bible said the beginner is not the owner. But the what? The finisher. You can start very well. But let me tell you. If you want to be useful in this kingdom. Set your eyes on God. The secret of our relevance in this kingdom. If you want to reign like Esther. Continue to please the king. If you want to shine. If you want to be blessed. Please continue. To please the king. The presence of God is very important. There is nothing to substitute the presence of God. There was a time in the Bible that Peter, Peter who stayed with Jesus, Peter who could not heal the demon-possessed boy, 
Yes or no? A time came, they say, Peter's shadow. Begin to do what? Heal the sick. What? The, don't tell me it's shadow. That is not shadow at all. That is the effulgence of the presence of God. Like a woman entering a kitchen and there will smoke there. When you come out of that kitchen, there will always be a smell of smoke in your body. To prove that you are coming from the presence of God. When Peter stays in the presence of God, as he comes out, it is not only Peter in the Bible. Even Moses, when he stays in the presence of God and return, the Bible said the people could not look at his face. The benefits of staying in the presence of God. Many of you have not been trained to stay. You are too busy and too hurry. And life is upside down. In 24 hours, how many minutes do you have for God? How many minutes? 10 minutes. And that your 10 minutes is all about you, not about God. And God said, no, we don't do business like this. We don't reign in this kingdom like this. Go and ask those who are in occultic. They know what it means to fellowship. When it is their time to sacrifice, they will leave every business and they will stay there. The Abbalists will tell them that if you want to be a rich man, every morning by 2 a.m., you have to wake up. The day you miss it, that's the day you die. And they've been doing it for many years. Every day, they know the only way they can remain standing is that by 2 a.m., they have to go and appease their gods. For you who serve the King of Kings, you who serve the Lord of Lords, you who is a Christian, don't know how to fellowship with God. Do you want to carry the presence of God? Then engage in prayers and worship. Worship is powerful. Not every time you go to the presence of God, just to go and disturb him about your today's problem. There is a place for asking, but if your prayer is all about asking, you have missed the mark. What are the benefits that comes upon a man if you carry the presence of God. Genesis 39 and verse 2. The Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man. That means success is found with any man that carries the presence of God. So if you are looking for success and you go to market and tell them and say, can you tell me the best business here? I want to know the best business I should invest in. You are playing. That is not the best. The success we are talking about here, success that lasts can only be found if you carry the presence of God. How can a slave be successful? How can a servant be successful? Because of the presence of God. As you carry the Shekinah glory, let me tell you the truth. God himself begins to touch the heart of men. Even the heart of Pharaoh is in God's hands. Genesis 39, 21. But the Lord was with who? Are you seeing it again? Do you see the secret again? The secret of carrying the presence of God. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him what? And gave him what? Favor in the sight of what? The keepers of the who? Of the prison. Take note of this scripture again. May this become your portion. He said, and the Lord was with Joseph. He showed him mercy. Then gave him what? Favor in the sight of who? The keepers of who? The prison. Keepers of the prison have no relationship with you. Their job is, they don't want to lose their job. They throw you inside. I said, stay there. I don't know what brought you here. That is not my business. Stay inside. So God can give a man favor even in the sight of his enemy. Is it not in the Bible that when the ways of a man pleases the Lord, he makes his enemy to be what? At peace with him. Stop running after shadow. Stay and carry his presence. Stay with God. Spend time with God. Once upon a time, by his grace, I stand here before the whole world. I've been a prayer warrior under prophet Bishop for many years. And I've been able to study. I'd say one faithful night, we were praying together with the prophets. 
he is the one leading and we were following as we were praying i wanted to hear and say, let me see the request of this great man today are you with me now i want for me myself I, okay i know he taught us how to pray now but now we are praying with him maybe he will tell us now let us pray that god should enlarge this ministry let us pray that god should bring more money let us pray that god should bring more anointing let us pray but when i hear this prayer request my god i was shocked 11 p.m at night we started father your mercy your mercy your mercy 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 12 a.m father your mercy your mercy 1 a.m father your mercy your mercy 2 a.m father your mercy your mercy 3 a.m in the morning your me i get offended I say, what is this in my spirits what is this what kind of prayer request is this only mercy no then i pray in my spirit myself brothers and sisters this is what i said whatever this man is asking you that you are not giving to him give it to him so that we can go and sleep i hope you understand now i say give it to him so that we now that we are following him say mercy 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 for five hours let us burn and cast we are strong let us wage war we are strong he said no mercy tell mercy then not up to a 10 seconds i offered a prayer he stopped and looked at me he said you are thinking what i'm asking god he said let me tell you my son anything you receive minus the mercy of god will become a calamity to you i need more of god that is why you see him he bring the faith bracelets he said oh holy spirit take more of me and give me more of you success comes when we carry the presence of god mercy comes when you carry the presence of god favor comes when you carry the presence of god the book of exodus 33 and verse 14 and god said my presence will go with you and i will give you rest without the presence of god going with you there can be no rest the reason why you are panicking and under pressure today is because there is no presence of god minus the presence of god today problem tomorrow problem today problem a man can have money without the presence of god but he will never enjoy that money because it will be problem upon problem rest in this kingdom is tied to the presence of god you are only restful to the degree the presence of god is on you pressure panicking fear is a sign that the presence have not find place in your life if you want to rest in your life then look for the presence of god if you want peace in your life you must carry the presence of god second chronicles chapter 15 and verse 12 then they entered into a covenant to do what seek the lord god of their father with all their heart and with all their soul whoever will not seek the lord god of israel was to be what put to death whether small or great whether man or they took an oath before the lord with a loud voice with shouting and what and rams horn and all judas rejoiced at the oath for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with all their soul and he was found by them the results and the lord gave them rest round about if you seek to carry the presence of god and say lord i will not go let your presence 
go with me you will have rest round about do you know what it means to have rest some of you have rest but not round about rest round about rest means financial rest spiritual rest family rest everything around you rest round about advantage of carrying the presence of god advantage of going with god is that in return he will give you rest roundabouts and lastly one of the advantage you should take note of when you carry the presence of god is divine protection are you aware that many great people don't sleep because of fear let me tell you something if you think that as you begin to grow that every man will be happy with your growth think again i've heard people say statement like this me i didn't offend anybody and i don't want anybody to do what to offend me you are immature is a statement for an immature christians let me tell you when jesus came to earth and when he began to reign after his baptism, he began to reign and his fame spread across. People begin to gather and plan against Jesus. Yes or no? What were, they, were they planning to stop Jesus? They were not planning to stop Jesus. They were planning to kill Jesus. So if you think that when you are rising, men and women will say, oh, 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 this is what we are expecting. You are joking. You need the presence of God because the presence of God is your spiritual protection. Your presence of God is your spiritual immunity. Without the presence of God, brothers and sisters, you will grow one day and just fall down and say, Kai, I can't move again. It is dangerous to be successful without protection. It is dangerous to be great without protection. Let me show you a scripture now about this protection. The Bible gives us an example in the book of Psalm 91. Psalm 91, maybe let's take it from verse 5. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrows that flies by what? Okay, my question now. Who fired this arrow by day? Eh? Who fired the arrow? So that means you rising is a danger. I hope you know that the taller a tree is, the more it is easy to fire or shoot at. Prophet Tim Joshua said, advancement in the world makes a man a mark for Satan to shoot at. You continue to rise and say, me, I'm an innocent young lady. I'm, an, I'm a beautiful one. Can't you see me? Satan said, continue. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers and sisters, Satan is not joking at all. Not to scare you, but you need the divine presence of God. If not, you will be shocked on what Satan can do to you. Oh, you think it's only Jesus. The Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Not only Jesus. Satan is the same yesterday, today. And see tomorrow back to back the same satan you know yesterday is still the same satan today and the same satan of today is still the same satan that will torment you tomorrow the only reasons why we are saved in this kingdom is when there is protections oh i love job so much in the book of job chapter one and you take it from verse eight he said and the lord said to satan have you considered my servant who job that there is none like him on earth a blameless and upright man one who fear god and do what shun evil the next verse now look at satan a stubborn man a man that never changed so satan answer he's not afraid to answer god do you think he'll be afraid to ask you a question this is your god does job Fear God for nothing? Have you not make a edge around him? That is one. Two, around his household. Satan, tell God, why I was moving in Africa, 
I saw the man. Don't think Joe, Satan did not see you. Let me tell you, if you think Satan did not see you, wait tomorrow it's coming because he's moving to and fro. God asked him, where are you coming from? He said, I moved to and then I will do what? That means if I did not get you now, when I'm coming back, I will take a quiet bomb and I will search for you. So the secret is not to run. The secret is to have divine protection. So the reason why I could not touch him is because there is protection around him. There is protection around his household. And there is protection around everything that he has. Divine presence of God. That is what he can do for you. Divine presence of God. Give me the book of Psalm 3. Psalm chapter 3 and verse 1. Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Take note of this. Who are the people now? You cannot tell. It's not all your enemy. You know. Tell your neighbor, say, it's not all the enemy you know. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in where in god that is god cannot even help him by the time we finish dealing with you you will see where your god will help you but you oh lord you are a shield for me my glory and the one who lifts my world that is god himself his presence becomes a shield are you aware that the Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower? The righteous can do what? Can run into it and they are what? They are saved. Better carry the divine presence of God. For the sake of not knowing those who will plot the arrows. There are people today, they just wake up and something hit them. And they can feel it in their body. And after that time, it's like a shock. Stroke and everything you see today, it's just a shock and immediately. Brothers and sisters, if you wait for attack to come before you start praying, you are late. You are totally late. And as you carry the divine presence of God, they don't know that in your room is worship and prayer that is going on side by side. And somebody is somewhere around 3 a.m. making an enchantment and say, This woman, let us invoke the spirits this midnight as they invoke your spirits, thinking that it's your face that will show up. Fire come out and reply to them because of the divine presence of God. Daniel chapter 3 and verse 23. He said, and these three men, who? Shadrach, Meshach, and who? Fell down, bound in the midst of the burning, flurry furnace. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound? into the midst of the fire they answer and said to the king true O king look he answered i see how many i see how many so that means when you are looking at me think i'm alone here look again the other men here i don't know what you see but there are angels unspeakably more numerous. God infinitely more powerful. He said, look, he answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the what? How do you walk in the midst of the fire? Walking in the midst of the fire. And they are not hot. And they form of the thoughts is like the son of who this man is the first person to see jesus he said the fourth person was like the son of god may your enemy see your jesus i said may your enemy see your god 
when they look at you, may they see the lion of the tribe of Judah. This kind God, another one, no deal. Rise up. This my God, another one. This my God, another one, no This our God, another one, no deal. This my God, another one, no deal. God of TB Joshua, another one, no deal. God of Elijah, another one, no deal. This kind God, another one, no deal. This kind God, another one, no deal. This kind God, another one, no deal. This my God, another one, no deal. This kind God, another one, no deal. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. If you think that we are doing ministry by idea, if you think that we are doing it by idea, you can try it. Ask the Satan. Satan knows who is who. Satan say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But you cannot use idea. Some sons of Skeva. He said, but who are you people? There must be a spirit component that backs everything we are doing. As Satan is aware of what we are doing here. But he has no power because there is the presence of the living God. The presence of the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua is here. Let me tell you, you can also carry that presence to your business. Oh, it's not a man, it's a choice. It's Shekinah. And you carry it to your business place. You can also carry it to your office. And those stubborn staff, those people that say, no way, you will not rise. They begin to be the one to sign your promotion by themselves. Carry the presence to market. Because you don't know what happens in the market. Carry that presence. Let that protection and the security be on you. Satan will be seeing you like this. And yet he will be powerless when the presence is on you. I pray for you this morning. It's not just to receive a message like this. But I pray that God Almighty rest the presence on you. I say the presence rests upon you. His presence rests upon you. His protection rests upon you. His mercy rests upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you.